I've terminated all of the connections now. Um, I'm not going into detail about how to wire it up. All the instructions for wiring up the Alexmos brushless gimbal flight controller are on their website and also there's numerous videos on YouTube uh, showing you how to do it and the instructions for wiring up the IO port of the brush of the uh, Blackmagic Micro Cinema camera are there. I will however put a wiring diagram of sorts on Thingiverse to help you along. Basically what I've uh, had to wire up is the the three motors, so the yaw, pitch and roll axis on the Alexmos, the IMU, and this is a second IMU, which I've mounted on top of the Alexmos for want of anywhere else to put it. And then we've got the wires, let's get hold of them, that go off to your receiver and your flight controller. First of all, of course, there's the power wire that um, gets your your power from your three-cell three, uh, three cell or four-cell LiPo battery from 12 to about uh, 16 volts. is okay. Um, we've got the S-Bus connector, and that controls the... Um, various functions of the camera. In this case I've set it to control the zoom, the focus and the aperture and there's another cable here which um, you put on a separate channel to the S-Bus. We can put it on the S-Bus as well and that is the recording start stop wire. Also this isn't necessary but I've put it in anyway a switch to switch the camera on and off independent of the gimbal and lastly if you're going to use this handheld there's a power lead for the HDMI monitor so with it wired up like that it's all ready to uh, clip on with these clips to the rails of your gimbal and um, and you're ready to balance the camera and and go. Um, I'm going to carry on now anyway to show you how I've adapted this as a handheld gimbal as well. And for this, you'll need to print out some more parts. So I'll just put that to one side. That is the monitor mount and it mounts on top of the gimbal as I'll show you how it fits in a minute and you can mount a monitor onto that tripod screw and I've put here a, a ball mount, a tripod mount you don't have to use that you can put a tripod screw directly into the printed part instead. Um, these things are only about three or four quid on eBay anyway and it allows you to move the monitor around so I decided to do that. At the bottom there's a screw mount um, where you can put a um, you, you can put your attachable tripod release and hold a whole gimbal on a tripod for when you're setting it up. I've also printed a mini tripod and that allows that you can stick in your kit bag when you go filming and you can at any time just mount the, um, the whole gimbal on that if you want to do some setting up. If you're using the Storm 32 uh, brushless gimbal controller you need to leave it perfectly still for a minute or so while it gets its bearings uh, so you need it to be mounted on a tripod of some sort so this is an optional part you can print out this tripod it assembles like this there 
there and there you see that? zoom out a bit and your tripod just slots into there your brushless gimbal slots into there and you have a brushless gimbal mount. I'll go into more detail how to do that in a minute. This by the way is a handle for holding the gimbal from above and you can fold that away. So that's the monitor mount and the tripod And lastly, of course, the handheld mount. Now this has got a control box. I haven't assembled that yet. I'm going to show you how to assemble that in a minute. And a joystick for controlling the gimbal uh, movement. And that simply clips on to the top. Of the gimbal and I'll clip that on in a minute and show you how it works um, so that's the completed gimbal oops it'll go around that way actually you just clip it in both rails and adjust it to your your preference so that's the uh, the handheld handles um, so I'll just assemble it all now, put it on the tripod, and then I'll talk about balancing the camera and also wiring up the control box. It's a little complicated. I'll put a wiring diagram on Thingiverse, but there's plenty of stuff uh, to help you along, and I will willingly answer any questions if you get stuck. So I'll just assemble the whole thing now. There you are, I've set the, the gimbal up. I've just roughly balanced it in the roll axis and in the tilt axis. Note that when I move it, it doesn't stay in position. Uh, it needs to be fine-tuned. Uh, you'd fine-tune fine that when you put it onto your copter or whilst it's on the stand. I haven't fine-tuned this yet. I've just set it up so that it hangs on the stand. The camera needs to be balanced in the vertical axis and the horizontal axis that is in the x-axis and the y-axis um, the tilt needs to be balanced this one's not too bad actually and as well as that the pan needs to be balanced there's plenty of videos on how to do that and this uh, brush, brushless gimbal is fully adjustable in all the axes. Sorry about all the wires here. I'll just turn it round. You can lift it up by the handle at the top. Turn it round. And I will indicate more or less where these wires go. First of all, the joystick wires go straight into the brushless gimbal control into the Lexmos. Um, if you're not using a joystick, if this is on an, on an aircraft, then they would be um, control uh, control wires on either SBAS or PWM to control the pan and tilt of your camera. So that plugs directly into the Alexmos. Say about these wires all over the place, but you'll notice I haven't used a single cable tie yet on this gimbal. This is the control box, um, and I, I, I'll, I'll do that separately. How to put it together at the moment? It's only got one um, one servo testing unit in it. 
the users three and the switch and the push button and so on. So I'll wire that up in a minute and show you how it works.